So not only did you come with coffee, but you came with common sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome home. Yeah, I got the best company, right? Packing me up. That's right. Rode away, moving. Can you guys believe it? We're finally here. I'm excited. No, but seriously, this entire process has been seamless. <laughs> um, they literally have packed my entire apartment. So say hi to the best people. She's sitting. That's when you know it's good. That's when you know it's good when she's sitting. But she was, she was up doing. She was too. Really appreciate it because they made this entire process seamless. Keith is at work, so I was literally here by myself. It's done. We got it done, and um, professional. He came in here with some. Um, Iced coffee for me from the Bronx. <laughs> Some original Dominican coffee. Okay, for real. It was so good. Um, and I didn't gave him some of Keith's stuff that don't fit him no more. So he's leaving with stuff too. It was, you know, it's... And that's how it goes. <laughs> uh, so we're almost done. We're going to take all this stuff to the new house. Um, so yeah. Um, they are going to... Um, Take apart the beds, getting rid of all the stuff that we have to, um, separating all the things that we have to get rid of and throw away. They are literally taking apart my computer right now that I use to edit, which is going to be difficult because I have to wait until I have service to edit my vlogs. But the 11th, which is Friday. Yeah. So it's not, but it's okay. It's okay. Positive vibes. Everything is working out, but... Yeah, Road Away has been amazing, literally from inception to now. And it's been very quickly, in my opinion. It's been three hours so far. My entire apartment is done. So it's pretty good. And all I had to do was just put the stuff where it needed to be. They did everything. He came in, he was like, don't worry about it. I'm going to do everything. I'm just like. So not only did you come with coffee, but you came with common sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Richard is my guy. This is the guy that brought me the coffee this morning. I told him about the coffee. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we are pretty much done here. We are about to head to the house, unpack everything, and then we're done for the day. It's been a long day, but we did it. We did it. You need me to sign? No. Okay. Yeah, the map. I'm gonna see you at the other location, all right? Yes. I'm gonna follow you guys. Yeah. Okay. I'm praying there's no traffic. <laughs> do some growing to do. That's the season I'm in. So if you don't mind, I'd like to share from my personal prayer time what God is showing me about this season I'm in and my prayer is that it will bless you. My title is Blessed, Blind, and Broken. Blessed, Blind, and Broken. 2 Samuel 12, verse 15. For those of you who don't know or are unfamiliar with this passage, David is king, and he's been raggedy. He's been you know, <clears throat> I'm driving, and um, I was listening to the scripture <clears throat> on YouTube. Made me think, right? Like, you know, we always hear many are called and only a few are chosen, right? But like <clears throat> I want you to like really <clears throat> take a step back and look at your life, you know, and like think about like all of your trials and tribulations. Think about the goodness in your life, think about the sad times in your life and like really think about that saying like many are called and few are chosen and, and like really reflect and feel and, and think about if you're like a person that like do you, if you feel like you're chosen chosen um like I've I've always known my entire life that I was a chosen one um and it's it's just like the way that I think um the way that I view things how I treat people um how I love others how I value my life, um, how I how I show up, 
charity. I, I just really understood the value of like the fact that I even woke up this morning. Um, the fact that I, you know, have gone through so much trials and tribulations and saw it through. And knowing that I saw it through because of God. Like, there's so many story times I can tell you guys. Um, and I just always knew, I, I knew that I was covered. Then keep left onto William Floyd Parkway North. But it is something to like really feel it and know it, you know? And it's like, when you um, finally decide to give yourself to God, right? Um... It's like you know I know that I always gave my, my life to God I knew that my life was always in God's hands but I knew that I wasn't right. living um, how do I say this because I don't want to say that I was was not um, living for Christ the right lane to keep I don't want to say that um, West toward New York I just know that I wasn't living I'm not 100%. I wasn't living fully. Jesus is traffic. I hope that's not the traffic that I have to go through. I just wanted to be more like, more like God. Keep right. <laughs> and even still now, it's like, I think that a lot of people, they, you know, you get baptized and they like, they're looking the to criticize for, um, they're looking for reasons to be like, oh, you gave yourself to God. I'm not experiencing that. I'm just speaking for the, the, the so many other people who want to give them themselves to Christ, but they're battling, um, you know, being judged um, and thinking about what everyone else is gonna 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 think. And you know, it's like we are all chosen for different things. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart really quickly while I wait for them because I think I don't think they're I don't think they're gonna be here anytime soon. I feel like I drove. <clears throat> First of all, I left earlier than them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go on my real quick. Um, we all chose to serve Jesus in so many different ways. You know, like God doesn't want me to um no longer be who I am. No, He loves me the way that I am. You know, what I'm saying He He people see Jesus in me and that's what Jesus wants. Jesus wants you how you are because you are a representation of him and you are bringing so many people towards him. So don't be fearful. Don't feel like I can't I can't give myself to God right now. I'm not doing things that God would be um that God would approve of. God is not asking you for the change to change overnight. You know, God God doesn't want us to judge others who aren't like him. God doesn't want us to um, no longer be ourselves and which way am I going? I act like I know, I act like I know where I'm at guys. I do not know where I'm at. Okay, I know where I'm at. Um, he loves us the way that we are and it's, it's, it's something that takes time. You know, I said all that to say, I wanted to give myself to Jesus for years. I just knew that I wanted to be ready. And ready for me was to be consciously aware of what I was doing and the image that I would now portray to others, right? And I felt like without me, I'm sure many people didn't know that I wasn't baptized um, because perception is everything and character is everything. So I carry, I carry myself um, Christian-like, you know, at least to my knowledge <laughs> or at least to how I feel. There is nothing that I am doing now that I am ashamed or embarrassed of. I smoke marijuana every now and then. I'm not ashamed or embarrassed about that. Um, the only thing that I wish I could stop stop doing is cursing. And it's not because... Let me go this way. It's not because I, I think that people that, are, that curse are... Um, bad people that's not why um i just don't i don't think that 
it is of the character or it is of it is of who I'm trying to become. I don't want to curse. So like that's something that I'm working on, you know. Um I I want to go to church more. And I don't want to go to church more because I think you have to go to church to be a Christian. I don't think so at all. Um I want to go to church no, church more because church shaped me into being the woman that I am. Um and I think that is very important and very um essential to 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 shaping you the same way that school is important i think that church is important which is why i want my children to 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 go to church um you never stray away from church church is in you it is in you babe i i've strayed away from the church at a very young age and everywhere and anywhere i was god people knew that god was in me because god was in everything that i've done i started with prayer i ended with prayer um I, I just it's just in you and I and I want my children to always know that God is in them he is in them he covers them he blesses them he protects them he I need them to know I cannot find a park but why am I getting emotional <laughs> but um if that is why I think you know going to church to me is important um Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling, but I just felt the need to say, like, don't, don't feel like, oh my God, I have to change my life to have a relationship with God, because you don't. God just wants you to make that step. Um, and sometimes it's scary, because sometimes... Why am I crying? Hold on. <laughs> Sometimes it's scary. And <clears throat> ridiculous. Sometimes it's scary. And um it's scary because sometimes this journey um, requires isolation. And it happens for so many reasons. Like, just, you know when you're going through a transition. And you just pray and you ask God to guide you through your transition. You know? Um, and that's what I've been doing. Because I'm definitely going through a transition right now. And it definitely feels isolating uh, like it feels like it feels like it feels like you're losing everything but it feels like you're losing everything to gain s something so big you could have never imagined and I don't know how to explain that I don't know how it feels like it feels like God is feeling every inch of my body so in every area where you feel like you are um losing i feel like i'm winning so much right now and it's just i don't know how to explain it but i'm gonna be able to so i will but um that's just the rant right now anyway let's go into walmart real quick before they get before they get to the house I, I follow this girl called Jess Witty. She's a girl who's big. I love her head. And when I tell you I love her, her channel, she's so funny. She's talking about the people, the girl. She's talking about being single and guys saying she's still, she's still single because she picky. And she's like, do you go to the grocery store and just choose anything? Oh, God. So good. I'm literally in here, guys, to pick up Crossy a gift because I haven't seen my baby. And she's like, I want a toy. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, I don't know if they have the toy. She wants, what does she want? She wants, what's the girl name? Ariel. 
Alright y'all. <coughs> Alright, we have a busy weekend guys. <laughs> so my brother um, is having his baby gender reveal tonight. So I have to finish packing the entire house. My husband is at work. Did I tell y'all this? I think I did. But if I didn't, my husband is at work. So he, um, I have to do this, this part all by myself. He helped last night. We got a lot done last night. His, um, his friends are coming to help him on I think they're coming to help him on Tuesday Tuesday to do the storage but my brother is having his gender reveal today in New Jersey so I am in Suffolk now by the house once we do that I'm going to head to Jersey guys my brother is literally two hours away from the city so that's a next three hour drive but I am praying that my brother is having a girl so he doesn't know that I'm coming because I wasn't supposed to be here in time. <clears throat> but it worked out. It worked out. So I am going to drive up there. My kids are there now. Um, and I want to surprise them with like a little gift. <clears throat> I want to surprise them with a little gift. So I'm trying to figure this out. But yeah, so that's what's happening. And then we're gonna head up to Jersey. Um, hopefully I find her her, her toy. Ariel, this girl is, she be obsessed with so much different people every other day. It's like, she she love Ariel now. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find something Ariel-esque. <laughs> is that a word, Ariel-esque? I don't know guys, I don't see anything. Okay, let's see. Hi, how are you? Hi, Where are all the toys for like the kids? Like Ariel, do you have anything Ariel? Mm, I'm not too sure what we have as far okay. as toys, but I know. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Or even like a Just costume or outfit. The produce, <clears throat> it should be right there on the wall. Or even like the costumes, you know? I know Halloween's over, but like or pajamas, some I don't know. Just she's up. She's loving Ariel right now. So anything Ariel. <clears throat> They're just going to toys. Ariel, toys? Okay. They usually have like that dress. Yeah. You know, the, the, the Ariel dress? There. Yeah. If we got something. Guys, are we shocked? I am so shocked right now. This is, I'm shocked. Right? Isn't that so nice? I, I, well, mine is, I would have to have I'm so shocked. Six, have six, six chairs. chairs, yeah. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Um, so I got them. I got Crossy her Ariel costume, which I shouldn't even have to get this, guys, because we just had a birthday party. But I can't even stress myself out. I don't know where that stuff is. So this is this is her dress. That's that. <laughs> and um, I got Kyrie something as well because you can't get one kid something and not the other kid. <clears throat> A stress-free moving experience for me. Um, they are taking safety precautions very seriously. They made sure to put all of our bags inside of boxes. I was like, I'm okay with the boxes. I mean, with the bags. They were like, no, we don't want to damage anything. So they put all of my stuff in boxes. Keith is at work texting me like, how's everything going? Is everything okay? And I'm like, yes, baby. Everything's okay, I'm in good hands. You have to do the challenge when you guys are done. <laughs> oh 
Sister. It's <laughs> so easy. It's so easy. I got this feeling Yeah, it's stirring in my bones It's got me dreaming Of chasing that golden coast We just gotta live in the moment Blow your Monday, let's just go for it Pack your bags and I'll grab the door We'll head straight for the sun Breeze, close your eyes and let go in the blue sky energy such the, the duo <clears throat> we always figure it out we always get stuff done he had to work today at 5 a.m. and when we um, we got in in the morning so we got in so late and we got busy we started heading to throw away all the garbage like we did everything that we needed to do because I knew that I didn't have any time. There was no time. Um, okay. Whenever you are moving, make sure you have. Is my people here? Is Dan here? Oh, see Dan. Dan, I don't see you. I have the perfect neighbors. See me there. Thanks for rocking out with me today, guys. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. We started <clears throat> at eight something this morning. All right, I will see y'all later. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, guys. Is it hot? Oh, you want me to warm it? I mean, it's not cold. I don't know. The vegetables are not hot though. So, it's but it's not a picture, but it's a video. You love it. You done? <laughs> you done? You happy to see mommy and daddy? You about to see daddy? <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, get in the car. What are you looking at? Get in your car. I'm putting your seatbelt. Other side. So see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Love this weather. So pretty. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. Guys, it's been a crazy week, but it's been a blessing. It's been a fruitful week. It's been an amazing week. Um, wishing you guys a great week ahead. And yeah, I'm excited for you guys to, to watch us make our house a home. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. And um, yeah the majority of people that watch my channel are not subscribed to me so we need to change that because subscriptions is what help brands reach out to me and sponsor me and the comments and the likes and all that good stuff so keep it up and i appreciate your support as always love you guys have a great week Bye. you know i just want to say i'm really grateful for my tribe like, for real. Like, a lot of people don't have people they can, de de they can depend on. Seriously. But I have 
a plethora of people that I can depend on. And I'm just super grateful. And being a 33-year-old woman, mom of two, it, it feels beautiful that a lot of these women that I have have been by my side for years. Women by my side that um, are always there for me. I can always depend on them. I never like to ask people for anything I don't. So when you guys see, you know, my tribe and my friends show up and they're there for me, it's because they are doing so without me asking because I don't like to ask. Um, and I'm working on that. But once again, yet again, here we are. <laughs> and with this moving process, I didn't want to ask. I didn't ask anyone because I felt like I'll be fine. And <clears throat> my friends showed up. You know, and it's like, I'm just super grateful. And I just wanted, I wanted to say this because I feel like, you know, you really have to be grateful for um, a lot of the angels that God put in your life. And a lot of people feel like they don't have anybody. And it's not that you don't have anybody. You're just not asking. And sometimes some people feel like you don't need their assistance because you didn't ask. Um, I'm grateful to have people around me who know me. So they know I'll never ask, which is why they show up. Um, yeah, I'm just grateful. I think I think this these last two weeks has showed me a lot. Um, even like with my children, like me and my husband went away for an entire week. It is a blessing to be able to have, you know, family and friends that would that want to watch your kids for an entire week, you know, with no questions asked. Like, you know, don't worry about it. Bring them over. Bring their schoolwork. Bring their like. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. And. Yeah. My best friend is downstairs right now. Like, what? She went and picked me up towels because we moved out clearly. She went and picked me up um, plates for the house. Like, things, essentials that we don't have because we just packed up everything, you know? Um, so, I'm, I'm just grateful. And I just got out of the shower because she bought a towel for me to use. <laughs> And I'm like, babe, you don't have to. And that's that's all my always my answer, guys. You don't have to. Like, it's okay because so, you really don't. And it's not, I'm not the friend that's gonna be like, oh, you ain't show up for me. You wasn't there for me. I'm that's not me because we all got stuff going on. But I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful when you show up. I'm grateful when you're not showing up. I'm grateful because I know that you would if I asked. So that message is, I just want to share that because I feel like, you know, you'll give your friends grace and ask for help. Because a lot of people think that they don't have people just because those people don't show up. But some people really just think you don't need them. You know? And it's nothing bad. It's just like, okay, well, she probably has somebody. You know what I mean? Just grateful.
You could turn my thing on. As always, don't forget to leave feeling more beautiful than when you arrived. Have, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I love you. Next time.